A uh, question for uh, Ms. Trusacker, please. Uh, Ms. Trusacker, the, the Stibnite project you may be familiar with, that happens to be in my home state of Idaho. And that, uh, re that represents the largest reserve of antimony outside of Russia or China. And that uh, mine is actually in a position to where it could, it could move, move quite quickly if it had the permissions to do so. Uh, this is a critical mineral, as you know. This is used in a broad base of applications, next generation utility scale batteries, uh, important military applications, munitions, infrared, semiconductors, wind turbines, all kinds of things. So we got, uh, uh, just as an FYI, uh, my office was contacted, I believe just yesterday, and there's interest uh, through Defense Logistics Agency, DOD, and others specifically concerned about the stockpile of antimony. And so this is an inter interesting situation where we've got one component of the uh, federal government that's, that's uh, raising concerns and trying to put some urgency into the situation and other that's uh, looking to potentially extend a, a timeline so that it can't be engaged. But uh, as you alluded to, there's some cleanup that comes with this project. And this would be done by private industry. I find it interesting that this was actually uh, caused, if you will, by a World War II uh, demand by the federal government, which led to the situation that they have right now. But here we've got a private company looking to, uh, to, to basically clean this up as a function of that. Um, it looks like a win-win to me. It, it, do you see it that way? Absolutely, Congressman. It is a win-win for American taxpayers that we have a company that is proposing to invest $1 billion of private sector money to cleaning up um, what was uh, an environmental problem that was created during World War II when the Japanese blockaded the uh, animony source the country was using in China. So, you know, we kind of see history repeating ourselves itself with uh, Russia and, yeah. and Europe right now. Um, it is an extremely important um, in project that demonstrates that reprocessing and remining of historic mine sites can be an important source of critical minerals, and that private sector involvement in those sites can be a very effective way to clean up what was an uh, abandoned mine. And we're very fortunate that Perpetual Resources is proposing to make that investment. So just, we're almost out of time, but just, are, are you familiar with any other examples where there's been a similar situation where private industry has moved in and operators take on a uh, environmental cleanup project? Um, modern mining is absolutely the best way to address historic problems at old pre-regulation mining sites. Unfortunately, the liability issues associated with doing that chills people's available, uh, ability to do that. So we could enhance uh, reclamation of these AML sites by enacting some good Samaritan legislation. Thank you, uh, uh, Ms. Strusacker. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. 